Bill, I don't think you'll be able to talk normal for about a week now, right? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, like Jim kind of said, that I was kind of hoping alcohol would be served here today. We just got to kind of loosen up a little bit here, so, you know, otherwise we're a little bit stiff. Um, and feel free to laugh, you know, whether it's with me or at me. Just I want to hear people laugh. It's all right now. Um, before I start, I want to acknowledge Nicholas that uh, gave the, the talk at our uh, our wish kid over there. He did a real good job. It was a very touching story, and I I think we're all glad to be uh, that our company's behind a organization that does something like this. But uh, that that's enough of that now. That was going to be funny. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if I offend anybody uh, with anything I say or, or you know, anything that, you know, any topics that, that I cover here or anything. But um, I think Steve Martin once said that comedy's not pretty, and I'm here to prove that. <laughs> I want to thank uh, these are, uh, these are people. I want to thank you guys for giving me the special dispensation that you said any topic, anything. <laughs> Just look at them. Look at them. They're scared right now. In any case, you guys weren't raised Catholic or aren't Catholic. It's special, special. I always have to do this when I say special dispensation. Uh, what that means is like the Pope gives you like an exception, you know, so you don't have to follow some rules. Uh, you know, just like for an example, if uh, like Karen Carpenter, you know, she was anorexic and she needed to be able to eat, so the, the Pope would send God a note. Uh, so I think that's how they communicate. <laughs> uh, they say, you know, you know God, uh, I allowed Karen to eat uh, meat on Fridays and Lent. Please don't send her to hell. You know, it's the same kind of thing. You know, get get you away from all the rules. Uh, I've never done this before. <laughs> You know, I don't have a choice. I mean, people over the years, they know, they say, oh, you should try doing stand-up, you know, come on, comedy, you know, you're, you're kind of funny, you know, why don't you try doing it? So I had an option. I could have, you know, over the years, I could have gone to a, a comedy club, and, you know, if I bombed over there, I don't know anybody. Uh, I'll never see those people again. You know, it'll be 10, 15 minutes of hell, and then that's it. You know, I'm never going to do it again. But no, I decided to do it in front of all the people I worked with. I you guys for five days a week for the next 20 years. But this is where I'm going to start this. This is the first time I'm going to try it. So, one of those great decisions I've made in my life. Um, I want to thank especially the people who have uh, told my boss over the years, uh, you know, during my their sig significant observer reviews of me, that, uh, that that I could, you know, I could always have a career in stand-up comedy. I, I'm kind of wondering how that came up in the in the thing, you know, is it like, well, you know, Gary sucks as an employee. <laughs> have a jerk as a co-worker, he has no values, but he's funny, Jeff. <laughs> I'm sure that's really helped my bottom line. You know, you know, you know, I can just see the raise. Jeff's got a little extra money in the raise pool. He's trying to think, you know, what should I do? You know, who should I give it to? And he says, well, you know, Jim smoothed over this rough, uh, rough situation with a nasty customer, or a nasty situation. Smoothed over a nasty situation with a good customer. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, Luke's, Luke's doing a good job with the contracts, helping our bottom line, getting everything out there. We're getting the money in right away, and, and Gary's funny. <laughs> Obviously, I did not get a windfall after that decision was made. Uh, I wanted to acknowledge some of the people that I work with here because these are the people that you really like to, you know, I see all the time, I work with all the time, and um, you know, they make me want to come to work. Sometimes it's because they're nice people. Sometimes it's because, like, you know, like a train wreck, you just want to see you want to be there. <laughs> Some people are like that. Um, you know, one is Pat Boone. You know, she's always she's one of my White Sox fan friends over here at GATX, and um, uh, you know, she's always there to help you. I mean, you, you know, we all have have problems with our computer and everything, and you call up the help desk, and Pat answers the phone, and she's always got an answer for you. Fortunately, it's the same answer that you try to reboot. <laughs> I was told her I had a cold, and she said, well, did you try to reboot? <laughs> uh, Nick, Nick uh, Kurznowski, I don't think any of the engineering guys are here that I'm going to talk about. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, so you guys, make sure you pass this on to them. I like to do this to people's faces, not behind their backs. Uh, but, but Nick Kurznowski, I've known him for a long time, you know, um, and it's just kind of funny that... Uh, Guys from outside the Chicago office, you know, they see us once in a while, they talk to us, you know, we communicate with them once in a while, and they always get us confused because, you know, if they're too chubby pull with the long last name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff, 
Jeff Phillips, uh, you know, he's he's my boss. We've been uh, I've been uh, reporting to him now for several years. Um, wait a minute, what's this? October? <laughs> this is too close to review time. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Tony Sisto's another guy. <laughs> Tony Sisto's another guy. Um, you know, I worked with him, worked with him for a long time, and it seems like I'm always helping Tony, always helping uh, helping that area. And you know, something you don't know why. You know, he's he's in there. He's asking you about something. And you thought oh, I really shouldn't be doing this, but you know, maybe I can help you. I, I don't know. And then he starts dropping things like, you know, he just stops dropping names. Uh, you know, Uncle Paulie. You know, my cousin, <laughs> you know <with> Mickey Knuckles. <laughs> I'll wash your car, man. Just, just give me a break. And, and a great concept by your fundraising team this year with the uh, TV shows. Um, you know, there's some quality TV being watched in these households, huh? Minute to win it. What else we got? America's Got Talent. Well, maybe I should make fun of that one. <laughs> For this, you know, cops. Cops. I don't even know anybody north of the Mason-Dixon line watched Cops. <laughs> I don't know what north of the Mason-Dixon line is ever on Cops. <laughs> um, you know, they're not wasting their time with, uh, you know, Discovery Channel, 60 Minutes, CNBC, none, none of that stuff. Nope, nope, they got the high-level stuff on there. And then there some of those shows don't even make any sense. I mean, that minute to win it, they got some guy who's a chef with some funky bleached hair on there or something. What's the point? Why, how does he fit in with that? I don't, I don't even, I don't even get that thing there. And America's Got Talent, that's a great cast to, uh, to uh, judge people for talent, right? David Hasselhoff? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe GATX Germany, he'd be a big deal. <laughs> Piers Morgan, I don't even know who the hell that guy is. I don't even know who you play on that show, and I don't even know what kind of name Piers is. And then Sharon Osborne. There's, there's a person to judge talent, right? What, what's her trait? What's her credentials? And she's married to some drug-addled old rock star you can't even understand. She's raised two drug-addicted kids, and she can't even stop her dog from shitting all over the place. <laughs> It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Uh, you know, we, they could have picked Hell's Kitchen. You know, they could have made, somebody could have been swearing at us while we did menial tasks in the office. <laughs> <laughs> that show kind of amazes me too, because this is a show where they pick contestants who are going to get their own restaurant in Las Vegas or become head chef at some prestigious restaurant somewhere, and these people do shit like burn toast. <laughs> I swear at them too all the time. <laughs> Actually, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, can't see the people in my department over here, but I bet you sometimes they feel like they work at Hell's Mechanical Record. Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, guys, they could have picked Jersey Shore. You know, <laughs> that would have been great. You know, who's got the situation's abs? <laughs> We're up in line. We're top level contestants. <laughs> Or any uh, Snooky look-alike contest. Whoever looks most like Snooky loses. Um, and by the way, you know, I, I talked about the judges. Now we have some fine judges here. Highly qualified. That's got to be some points right there. And these people, they know talent. That's that's. Really yeah, I know some of the guys and uh, some of the guys and girls in, in IT. Um, you know what, there's one more show that you guys should have, that we're very lucky that they didn't do. Because it was your, you're on the committee. So thank God they didn't do Jackass. And I'm looking at IT folks, see, not laughing too much. They have a lot of trouble with like sentences and things like that. You know, they, they like talking code kind of thing. So hopefully you guys followed like most of that stuff. So let me give you that last punchline. Let me give you that last punchline in Java. It's colon, backslash, backslash, close parenthesis, name, quote, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I also noticed that some of the engineering guys are all, you know, just not quite catching, I think, some of these things. They're really laughing and they're just like... <laughs> but but they're, they're, you know, they need stuff to be a little bit technical. So I'm going to kind of throw something in here just for, for those guys. Really? You'll, you'll love this. You'll love this. There's, there's two knockers, two car, two car knockers. <laughs> 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 
Standing between a couple of cars, there's one HP uh, high pressure LPG car and a general service 23,000 gallon coiled and insulated car. And they both need a valve replaced that applies air to the car to help unload the car. And one guy says, It looks like we're gonna have to replace the air connection valve in those two. The other guy looks at him in disbelief and he says, It's called an induction valve on a high pressure car, you moron. <laughs> 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 Anyway. <laughs> well, I don't have a good segue here to this, to this next thing, but um, uh, speaking of segways, if anybody ever gets a chance to take a trip on a segue, like a tour of Chicago or any other city or something, sorry, I'm a little ADD, I kind of jump sometimes between things, do it, because it's a, it's a blast. First team, 15 minutes, you're scared to death, and after half an hour, you're like a pro on it. I'm just serious, that wasn't a jump, you, you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I experienced a very, uh, what I thought was a funny situation um, on my vacation this summer. Uh, it was my wife and I's 25th anniversary this year, and she's always wanted to go to Ireland, so I thought, well, I'll surprise her with a trip to Ireland. I had to kind of plan it early, uh, you know, so that everything was ready and, and could keep it all from her, so she didn't know anything about it. And uh, it's it kind of a little tough, because right now i got two kids in college, so uh, money's a little bit tight. And uh, so I said, well, you know what? This year, I'm going to use my bonus money to pay for this vacation. <laughs> decisions that I've made. Well, <laughs> <laughs> when we were there, we, 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 went, we went to Ireland, and we were in a bar one night, and we were um, we were sitting in a bar, having a couple of drinks. I know you guys, me sitting in a bar having a couple of drinks. <laughs> Honest to God, you know, I did it. I did it. It's not just a, that's just a rumor. And we're sitting there, we're drinking, you know, the local beers. I mean, they have such great beer and whiskey, Jameson's, and Harp, and Guinness, and everything over there. A guy walks up beside me. I knew he was a... a um, a local because he had a very strong Irish brogue. And he walks up and he orders two Budweiser's and two Coors Lights. <laughs> what the hell? What, they have a Keystone and Guinness and Falstaff Schlitz? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I, I wasn't really going to tell any jokes tonight, uh, today. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it was a kind of thing. What I mean is like just joke jokes. It was everything that was kind of related to uh, us, me. And, the, the, the fundraiser, but I got an email last week and, and I thought that I would share this uh, with everybody. Uh, let me see, make sure I get this starting right. Um, an Irishman, a German, and a Polak walk into a bar. Kevin's <laughs> face. <laughs> That's all, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it has not, nothing to do with that. There's like three ducks, three ducks walk into a bar. Uh, <laughs> the Irish, German, Polish, we didn't really, it's relevant at this point. Let's say they are just to make Kevin nervous. Um, and uh, they, they walk in, the, the bartender, a friendly guy, and he says, Hi, you know, what's your name? And the first duck says, uh, Huey. And he says, Hey, how you doing, Huey? How was your day today? He goes, he goes, Oh, it's great. He said, It's raining outside. I was in and out of puddles all day long. So he gives him his drink and goes to the next guy. He says, uh, What's your name? And Duck says, Dewey. And he says, hey, Al, okay, Dewey, how was your day? And he goes, great for me, too. Raining outside, in and out of puddles all day long. Gives him his drink, he goes to the next one, he goes, let me guess. Huey and Dewey, your name's Louie, right? And the girl, the girl Duck just turns around. She says, no, my name's Puddles. <laughs> 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 